fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So hopefully <laughs> that'll keep up. <laughs> Can you I was outside. Like, I, like, I was like this outside, like, <laughs> like coughing like some old dog. Oh, you know, it's like <laughs> it's that time of year. <laughs> yes. Perspective. What is your name? Brittany. Brittany, how are you doing today, Brittany? Great, how are you? Very good. You want a job hosting a television show? Sure. You seem to have like a good personality. What? So, Brittany, where are you from? Edison. Edison? Yeah. And you come to the fair every year? <laughs> yes? Yeah. You want to say hello? Anything's out there? Is there anything you want to say to your mom or anything out there? Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> what do you have? Are these your friends? Yeah. What is your name? Marcy. Marcy, where are you from? Edison. And why did you come to the fair today? Because it's fun. It's fun? What makes it fun? Everything. Everything? What's everything? Can you, like, name some things. The food. The food is fun. What else? Why? Why? The, the rides. The pizza. Shops. Yeah. Shops. Exactly. All right. Thanks a lot, girls. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a shot, and you get to interview. How about you interview these people over here? Okay. Sure. Hi. Do you like the fair here today? Yeah. What's your name? Carissa. Where are you from? of being able to uh, play characters that are stuck in the middle of comedic situations, comedic stories, ridiculous, or, or, or tragic. And um, I, I, it all has to do with the story and the director. And that, that, that's really where the decisions are, are made on my behalf. You are gorgeous. Thank you, you so are. much. I appreciate Thank it. you. <laughs> Can I have your hair in my next life, please? <laughs> It was awesome. I'm so happy you liked it. You were great. It? I'm a huge yeah. Drew fan and a huge Penny Marshall fan. I bet you are. Will you be working with Drew in the future, you think? I certainly hope so. I, I'm not quitting anytime soon, and I don't think she is. So I, I, there's long lives ahead of us, and um, I, I had the grandest time working with her. So now tell me, what brings you out to see CQ tonight? Um, a friend of mine mentioned it to me, so I just came out with him and his uncle, and uh, and I'm a big Roman Coppola fan. 
Cool. What other movies of his have you, have you or were you into? I'm mostly familiar with uh, other venues as far as commercials and um, his music videos, yeah. the photography. I mean, there's so many different venues that he's expressed his, yeah. his artistry in. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing his picture. So now, what projects are you working on right now? Uh, the next film is one called Molly. I just finished one called uh, Just Married with Ashton Kutcher. And then the next one called Molly Gun. Um, it's also an MGM picture. And um, it's Boaz Yakim is directing, and myself and Dakota Fanning are, are in it. Does your career, when you look at, at you know your career, does it ever amaze you, like, wow, I've come so far? Um, it, it's so strange when you're when you're working all the time. You don't really think of things like that. But I, I get very excited a lot. <laughs> There's never any of those mirror realizations where you go in the mirror all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I'm actually doing this. Well, I'm always me, so not exactly like that. But of course, there's epiphanies and beautiful moments where in the middle of growing or just moments. I just appreciate anything basically that I'm able to do, and I kind of can't believe that I'm that I'm that I'm able to do this. <laughs> there were so many um, just little tiny attributes in the script that were so familiar to me that I, uh, I had to be part of it. Um, excuse me one second. What's that? Nothing. Sorry, I hear everything. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm oh, I didn't know. It Sorry, when, when you guys... Yeah, I hear it. Okay. I'm so sorry. Hi, ADD. Okay. <laughs> no, just, just, um, I should just have that kind of naivety and flashness. That she does get taken in by people like McNeil and the whole thing. And are you She's thinking? constantly taken advantage of over and over and over. You know, and, and Gad, my, my whole life. But now I, I'm trying to be better and fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So hopefully <laughs> that'll keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I was outside. Oh, like, I, I was like this outside, <laughs> then like coughing like some old dog. Oh, oh, to, oh, you know, it's like <laughs> it's that time of year. <laughs> yes, please, and you can. Guys, don't put it in the windows. Back off. Just back off. Thank you, Everybody, be very careful, please. Yeah, thanks, of course. Yo, bro, bro, you should hand it back. Oh, back off. Right. Back off. Okay. Thanks. So hand it back. Very classy, Brittany. <laughs> 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 Brittany, there's a little kid back here that can't oh, reach around. He's gonna all move out of service. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is Brittany, so no problem. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate your signing. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Brittany. That's one, please. All right, that's it. Mike, pull out of your hand. Yeah, yeah. Pull out of your hand. All right, Brittany, this lady didn't get one back there. Oh, yeah. There's a girl. There's a kid and a girl in the back. Okay. Yes, of course. It's for my son. No problem. Thank you. Call his name. His What's name's name? John. John. Simon took her away. He made sure no one could get to her. We all were scared and freaked out. Like, who was this guy? Once they got married, they were holed up in that house 24-7.
her mouth. Can you feel her hear any breathing? I feel her hear any breathing. <laughs> Can you feel her hear any breathing? <laughs> yes or no, ma'am? Sunday, from what officials say, appear to be natural causes. An autopsy is planned reportedly against the wishes of her husband. An autopsy is planned reportedly against the wishes of her husband. Detectives with the Los Angeles Police Department launched their investigation at Brittany Murphy's home as paparazzi camped outside. Murphy collapsed here early Sunday. One neighbor witnessed the desperate measures by paramedics to save her. She was laying on the gurney. It looked like she died and... They were putting tubes in her throat and trying to resuscitate her with paddles. And then her husband was here just wandering around and in his pajama bottoms, just looking completely dazed and shocked. The actress, just 32, was found in full cardiac arrest and transported to Cedar sinai Medical Center. The official cause of death may not be known for weeks. The final results will be uh, pending toxicology and further tests. Yeah, let's do it. Murphy found fame as a teenager in the 1995 film Clueless. She appeared alongside Angelina Jolie in Girl Interrupted, Eminem in Eight Mile, and Michael Douglas in Don't Say a Word. While filming the romantic comedy Just Married, she dated co-star Ashton Kutcher. He reacted to her death on his Twitter page, saying the world lost a little piece of sunshine. In recent years, Murphy dealt with dramatic weight loss and publicly denied rumors of drug use and a troubled marriage. Brittany was looking towards the future. She wanted to get her career back on track, and she was also looking to have a baby. Murphy's family called her death a terrible tragedy. The family of Brittany Murphy has told investigators the actress had been suffering from flu-like symptoms in the days before her death. Murphy died Sunday after collapsing in the bathroom of her Hollywood Hills home. Authorities now say it appears the 32-year-old actress died of natural causes. Officials say an autopsy is complete, but they're waiting for the results of toxicology and tissue testing before determining an official cause of death. Investigators also interviewed Murphy's personal physician and examined prescription drugs taken from her home. Uh, we, we come out, we look at everything, any prescription meds that we do take. Uh, we will have to analyze everything and, and go from there. Paramedics tried to revive Murphy but she was pronounced dead on arrival at Cedars Sinai Medical Center. Um, as they brought her down the hill to the fire truck, they were trying to administer CPR and resuscitate her. And then they got her to the fire truck and um, they were trying to revive her. The hospital said the actress died of cardiac arrest. The autopsy found no apparent signs of trauma to the body and police do not suspect foul play. Brittany was not taking any medication for her mood, for anorexia, for any kind of mental illness. In a bizarre twist, Bonjak died five months after Brittany of pneumonia. In 2013, her father told Inside Edition that he believed she may have been killed with rat poison. Do you believe your daughter was murdered? I absolutely do. Something made her sick. A healthy 32-year-old doesn't just die. Obviously, the infamous bathroom, which no one has managed to even come in and clean out yet. And just, you can see my wife had a penchant for cosmetics. Well, most of the cosmetics are mine, as I ended up having to buy them over the years for the hair and makeup. And this is the little doggy couch where she actually fell. She fell on Clara's chaise long and, um, and 
She was put on a side right here next to the chaise long. And then when the paramedics came in, they pulled up through here into the, uh, um, into, through the, one of the closets, um, into the main room, so. Yeah, you're the first people to ever see the infamous bathroom, and, uh. Does it bring up? Oh, well, today is a three-month anniversary of her death, and before I saw you, I was actually with Sharon at the grave. So, it was the first time I've come in here, actually. You don't use this bathroom anymore? No, no, I don't use it at all. And I um, have my own over there. So, yeah, it's... Just Cyril Wecht joins us now to talk more about this. Good morning, Mr. Wecht. Good morning, Maggie. Good to see you. We, we learned yesterday that the lab preliminarily has said that it appears that Brittany died of natural causes. I don't know about you, but it seems so unusual to me. 32-year-old young ladies don't just die of natural causes. Well, you're quite right. It's possible, certainly. And usually it will be some kind of a congenital heart condition. But in most of those cases, then the patient will be aware that there is some heart problem. When you have a 32-year-old person dying suddenly, and especially a celebrity in Los Angeles, you can place your bet down that it's going to prove to be a case of acute combined drug toxicity. And I bet you that this young lady tragically died in the same way that Michael Jackson did and Anna Nicole. Cole Smith and her son Daniel Smith and Heath Ledger, a combination of drugs which have been prescribed for her, uh, prescribed for her husband, for her mother, in some fictitious names, probably by uh, doctors who are very, very quick uh, to make available anything that celebrities want, sometimes using knowingly fictitious names. So even though these drugs are, quote, legal, unquote, they are many times illegally obtained. And it's a tragedy and it's being played out everywhere in America every day and we only come to know about it when it involves celebrities. I think we have to be careful. We have to be fair. I mean, we, we don't know that. They found prescription drugs in our house, but we don't know which ones. If you go to my house right now, you'll find drugs, you know, for my, my eye ailment. How can you make that statement so preliminarily? Well, well, because I am aware of some of the drugs that were found. Oh. One of them was a drug that was involved with Michael Jackson, Ativan. Uh, one of them was a drug that was involved with Anna Nicole Smith, Clonopin. Um, two of the drugs are pain relievers, hydrocodone, which we frequently see in these cases, um, Vicoprofen, which is a form of Vicodin. Um, so I guarantee you that if the pathologist at the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office yesterday had found something dramatic like a heart attack, like a stroke, or like something uh, of a definitive nature, you would have heard about it. The fact that they say okay. that they're going to wait for toxicology tests and it'll take a couple of months, you can be sure that this is going to prove to be a case of acute combined drug toxicity, a tragedy. Kids uh, Simon came to Access Hollywood to set the record straight about the many rumors surrounding Britney's death and his background. What do you think is the biggest misconception about you? Well, I am, I'm often referred to as a criminal mm -hmm. without a criminal record, which is quite funny. I woke up the morning after my wife died and there was a thing saying murderer. Calling you a murderer? Yeah, that I murdered my wife. It's been a month since you lost her. How are you doing, Simon? How are you holding up? I don't think I am. I don't think either of us are. You wake up in the morning, and it's like a rebirth. There's, there's not enough time to... Your dreams be they good or bad when you wake up, and I reach out to touch or hold my wife. And she isn't there. Were you there when they said she didn't make it? 
uh, three people came in, Sharon and I were holding each other, and they let us know at the same time that they, that she hadn't made it. But we knew before that it was just, you know, you saw the life go out of her. Simon Monjack. Claire Staples is one of her neighbors. Uh, as they brought her down the hill to the fire truck, they were trying to administer CPR and resuscitate her. And then they got her to the fire truck and um, they were trying to revive her. Staples says Murphy's mother and husband were both on the scene. She says he looked as though he was just getting up for the day. He just looked dazed, you know, like he didn't know what was going on. He was just wandering around, really not where she was. He was just walking around in the street. Family, of course, is uh, uh, very distraught over it. We would ask uh, that uh, you give the family some privacy. They will not be coming out, and there'll be no spokesperson at this time. Murphy apparently collapsed in a bathroom, and authorities are looking into her medical history. Los Angeles police have opened an investigation into her death, and detectives and coroner's officials were at the home Sunday afternoon. And we'll be probably doing an autopsy tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, of course, uh, the final results will be uh, pending toxicology and further tests. In this 2007 interview with Hollywood TV, Murphy spoke about her spirituality. Well, just in life in general, in any business, I, or, or whatever you're doing in your life, um, I think it's important to, I, I have a lot of faith, so for myself, yes, the power of prayer works better than anything. Allegations coming from her father, who says she was poisoned. 
Murphy's father, Angelo Bertolotti, and family friend Julia Davis are joining us now from Los Angeles. To the both of you, thank you so much. I know this is difficult. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, we appreciate you being with us because this is really shocking to a lot of people, hearing that you believe that she was poisoned. Uh, Mr. Bertolotti, why do you believe that? Why, why do you think that she was poisoned? Well, it's, it's very suspicious, and I read the reports on the, uh, on the toxicology reports, and uh, everything sounds very, very, very more or less uh, suspicious. And I feel she was poisoned. There's no question about that. And I feel she was murdered. Julia, was there something specific in those reports that he's talking about that leads you to believe that it was poison and not natural causes? Yes, from the very beginning, AJ always believed that there was something very odd about Brittany's passing and then reviewing autopsy reports, we could see that there were multiple symptoms that would usually go with poisoning and then the test results confirmed that where the lab found uh, 10 heavy metals in very high quantities. So we do believe that, that it was poisoning and we would like to have it uh, properly investigated since the coroner never tested for poisons originally. Well, that's pretty shocking. Angelo, do you suspect somebody responsible for poisoning? her and who no i don't i i don't suspect anyone uh actually uh yeah i do really but i rather not speak about that uh the question is the fact is that she was poisoned and she was murdered as far as i'm concerned angela how about uh her husband uh simon he died also very young age has any additional testing been done uh, to look at his death as well. There hasn't been any testing done yet, but we are in touch with Simon's mother, Linda, and uh, she very much wants to have his remains tested as well. It is our belief that Simon was also poisoned by the same means because both Simon and Brittany exhibited identical symptoms. And, uh... Five months after Hollywood actress Brittany Murphy was found dead, police have now found the body of her husband. The body of British screenwriter Simon Monjack was found in the master bedroom of his Hollywood Hills home late Sunday. There were no illicit drugs located, uh, just prescription meds. Authorities tell the AP the 39-year-old's body was found by Murphy's mother just before midnight. At this time, police believe his death is from natural causes, but an autopsy will be performed in the coming days. In a case where a young wife dies and five months later, a youngish husband dies, basically from the same underlying factors. Not only the same underlying factors, but even the couple's final hours alive are eerily similar. What was the atmosphere inside? This evening, uh, Mr. Monjack was uh, found unresponsive. Paramedics uh, responded to the house. He was pronounced at uh, 2145 hours. His death is under investigation by the Los Angeles County Department of Coroner with the assistance of LAPD. Uh, it appears to be a natural. There were some prescription drugs found that were belonged to Mr. Monjack, and we'll have an ongoing investigation. Uh, cause of death is pending. There'll be an autopsy probably in the next day or so, and uh, pending toxicology will be uh, releasing the results after we get those all those tests back. Had you met Mr. Longjack and dealing with the Murphy? Yes. And what was it like dealing with him? Uh, this time? Or last, last time? Last time. Oh, I mean, he was a despondent husband last time. The family is uh, devastated uh, over his passing, and like I said, it is under investigation.
claims that Clueless star Brittany Murphy was poisoned. New toxicology tests ordered by her father raised this chilling possibility, and now her mother-in-law is speaking out. ABC's Abby Boudreaux is following all this for us. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Robin. More of Brittany Murphy's family members are stepping forward, pushing for the actress's death investigation to be reopened. They had everything to live for, and it was snatched away from them. This morning, an emotional plea from the mother-in-law of clueless actress Brittany Murphy. Don't cry. I'm so sorry. I do think something is extremely wrong. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit right. Linda Monjack telling ABC News she wants a full investigation into Murphy's death and the death of her own son. Simon Monjack was married to Murphy and died just five months after she did under similar circumstances. That to me would have alarm bells, but nobody seemed to take that up. Monjack's plea comes on the heels of stunning allegations made by Murphy's father, A.J. Bertolotti, who suspects his daughter did not die of pneumonia, as reported nearly four years ago, but was poisoned. I absolutely positively think she was poisoned, yes. I'm calling for it to be exhumed, if, if necessary. Bertolotti citing a new toxicology report that he commissioned, which tested samples of the star's hair and says it found high levels of 10 heavy metals. The results suggested one possible explanation would be an exposure to these metals or toxins administered by a third party perpetrator with likely criminal intent. But this morning, there are new questions about the accuracy of those findings. Testing from hair samples was very difficult to interpret in a reasonable scientific way. Dr. David Lee says something as common as hair dye could have left behind heavy metals. You would actually need bodily fluids, bodily tissues. And while the L.A. District Attorney's Office tells us they're not investigating, the L.A. Coroner's Office says they're willing to take a look at the new report once they receive a copy. I just hope that it all comes to something in the end and justice is served. This morning, the World Health Organization is also disputing that new toxicology report. It says the report wrongly cites their standards for heavy metals. Uh, ABC News also attempted to get clarification from the lab, but could not reach their spokesperson. With big potential. Then, Brittany Murphy died young. Well, now a new HBO Max documentary is looking into the star's troubled final years. It's your first look at the blockbuster documentary that reveals new chilling information about the mysterious death of actress Brittany Murphy. I met this guy who was so totally amazing. The former It Girl, known for the films Clueless, Eight Mile, and for dating Ashton Kutcher, died in her home at age 32. Media of 32 surrounded the home that she shared with her husband, Simon Monjack. At the time of her death, Brittany was married to screenwriter Simon Monjack. Now the HBO documentary, What Happened, Brittany Murphy, alleges Monjack was a con artist and contributed to her death. Brittany's friend, actress Kathy Najimy, appears in the documentary. During a little dip she was having, he came along. And I think that's where her judgment was muddled and she became prey. We all were scared and freaked out. Like, who was this guy? And there's this shocking claim. Simon said that he dated Elle McPherson and Madonna. He said that he had been dying from terminal brain cancer and that he had bought an experimental treatment derived from the fins of sharks. Every single word out of his mouth was a lie. 